traditional Hemophile basketball here. High post, pick and roll. Mac Van goes to the post, looking to isolate him. Penetration, great pass. Mac Van goes up, misses the two, and it's Iverson, first chance to get the Geek Gas team down the floor Whoa. in that unfamiliar number four uniform for Besiktas. Steps back. Well, he wants to get himself going, Mick. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> first touch, first shot. Yeah, now there you won't. He won't remember. Want to remember that first shot too well? Very short. But uh, you know, this will be a good test for Hema Farm as well. I think they'll want to play in this occasion. The big players they want to make the names for themselves. Well, Perkovic comes down with his own offensive rebound chance here for the third offensive set for uh, Hema Farm. McVan isolated in the post. Nice help, kick, wide open, three is off. And uh, that will, I'm sure, over the next few possessions, try and move the basketball, get it to McVan. Let him go to work in the block. Strong move by McVan, step back. Sweet little move, and he's undersized. Everyone talks about him being, and again, they're spending time with the basketball. The tempo, completely different now than the start of the game. Finds McVan on the three-point line. Great first step, soft touch. Well, puts it on the floor, backs in, puts it on the floor and gets to the basket. He's becoming a complete player. Do control the basketball, shouldn't be a reset. Tough little move on the inside. No, Jock McVan's just an animal on the boards, but doesn't get the shot away. And McVan ran the floor, picks up another point, another two points. Oh, yeah, six out of the 11 points for Ema Farm. Nice finish. And, and he is charging for that rebound, went over the back. Oh, here they go, and McVan wants it, gets it. Now he's going to back in, spins to the baseline. Now he's got to find someone, and the foul's called. And uh, Ignesi's going to get called for the foul. And as you saw after there, he rightly uh, reflected, you know, gave... Uh, it was uh, who was going to help him on the baseline. He shouldn't have really reached because the baseline helps come. And let's look at the replay. Here's McVan, and there's the help. He doesn't need just strokes one. 26-19. Don't forget, all these Tupashikis guards are playing for time now with uh, Ivers and Chapman out there. Oh, Good beautiful pass. pass. Oh, wow, the flush finish from Jerome Jordan, Mark. <laughs> hey, he's that's very, what he's there for. Very effective from one foot. Oh, yeah. yeah 15 points a game for T University of Tulsa last yeah. year, so he can play a bit. Wow. Well, uh, here's Erden. After making that free, got his confidence high. Iverson still without a point. Little through the legs, steps back, finds Erden, who's even further out this time. That one was asking a little bit too much, and McVan adds to his stats. Now he leads the break. Milo McVan goes up and beautifully finds Jordan. And McVan passing, McVan scoring, and most good things for Hema Farm as they close it to five. And we've still got Jordan coming to the free throw line, are going through Milo McVan. Well, Jordan getting some experience out there but it's uh, not doing much for team chemistry. Oh, beautiful seal, and we've got a foul on Nignescu, who's just not physical enough to deal with Milan McVan, and uh, Chevreur Ozer will come into the game. McVan is just, he's only 6'9", Mick, and people have always, and, and people have, that, yeah, and people have always gone, is he big enough to play inside? Well, a nice little play there, sets the screen, pops off the next screen and gets a wide open three. McVan in the post. Going to get double teamed. Ogilvy comes across. Great recognition by McVan. And there's a foul called. Yep, the foul's called. I'll tell you what, Milos Borisov did outstandingly well to just hold off number 10, that Mustafa Abi. Look at that. Abi was on. The six point lead with a great start by Hema Farm. They've cut it to six. Oh, and McVan should finish. Oh, misses the layup. Huge teams in the past if you let them get hot. Chapman is long with a long two. And. Uh, Kostovic comes down with a rebound, and there's absolutely no defense at all as McVan gets the two, closes it to a three-point game. Timeout, Bastik Gas, and the farm already in the ascendancy in this third quarter, closing it down. Just need to keep working. Kostovic puts it on the floor, gets to the keyway. Borisovic, nice pass. McVan is blocked and fouled, and Ogilvy was coming over to block it, but uh, Sherat Chetan. Gets a little bit too much body on him, and Ogilvy should be saying they should have talked then. Because if he'd have talked, I don't think that Chatham would have actually kept that contact going. Well, Mashvan is slowly, very slowly taking over this game. Eight points so far, he's got his two free throws to come here. And uh, it is looking as if the uh, the premier player, six rebounds as well for Milan Mashvan, the premier player for Serbia right now. Or well, one of the premier players, what, there are uh, quite a few. There's quite a few. And misses the and the free throw woes continue. We're still at 50 percent. 
And for a team of the quality of Hema Farm, if they'd have been anywhere near their norm, they'd have been in the lead of this game. Matt Van, expect him to make this one. He's not going to go 0 for 2. Makes the second. Four-point game, Hema Farm. And I've got, I'm almost with Iverson on that one. Mac Van, beautiful spin, left hand to the glass. Tremendous move by Mac Van. 50. Yeah. Be dangerous if Hema Farm tie this or get their nose in front. Be interesting how Pesikas deal with that one. The two is long, but another offensive rebound. Mac Van that time tries to work to the middle, throws the hook, is fouled, and he will have another trip to the free throw line as Erden off the bench picks up a foul. Now, was that a foul? It was definitely a travel. Now, was the uh, travel because of the foul, or did he get a hand on the ball? Well, you can a, see from that angle, that's for sure. There's a lot of contact going on, but uh, there's always a lot of contact going on in that situation. Okay, in fact, uh, changed the call to being a foul on uh, Ozer on the penetration. Well, Mash fans just turned to the referee and said, I was shooting. The referees have agreed. <laughs> well, when you get, you're almost at that status now where you can tell the official that what you were doing. Igneski steps in the game for uh, Bestikas and uh, Sutalo steps in the game for Hema Farm. This is when Hema Farm don't normally miss a beat because they really do run people in and out off that bench. But the Cats have got some depth, though. Mikhail Igneski, big-time veteran player around Europe, had some great years in the ACB in Spain, seasoned Polish international, and he has got some offense in him. Well, you're, you're, you've definitely got the experience to cope with all situations, but you fancy right now Hema Farm. He's, he's holding his groin, trying to play defense. Igneski puts it on the floor. Great block by Jordan. Well, we talked about some athletes play. That's uh, interesting to see what we get on that call. Ozer's going to get called for the foul. We've got a 60-60 game. Well, the danger signs are out. Ozer picks up the foul, and it's gone very quiet in here, Mick. Yeah, Bojan Kristovic is, is a big loss for Hema Farmer. He's so active out there. Ten points. is uh, missed one shot from inside the arc and three outside the arc and three rebounds. So uh, that's not good. Well, McFan is good from the free throw line. Hema Farm, lead it. And I think that's the first lead they've had since the first minute of the game. They scored the first two points, and since then they've trowed, and they've trowed by as many as 13 points. Bastisas just can't wait for the end of this quarter. McFan with his first long three is, long, is short. A really good sign for Bastisas. They've answered that Hema Farm run with a run of their own now, 9-0. Turnover, Chapman. Yes, he does. Oh, no, he don't. McVan recovers. Should be an easy two getting each other's way that time. Great effort, but oh. uh, stripped by Chapman. Two on one. Wonderful. And Chapman finishes, and that will get the crowd on there. Now in party mode. Here's the replay while this timeout's going on. Well, there's the fumble, wasn't it? Block by... Which Taking their time this time. Feet set for the three. McVan keeps it alive. Pavkovic fakes, gets inside, kicks. Erden, who's just made the last one. There's that move to the left and doesn't make the three, but they used 23 and a half seconds on that one, Mick. Yeah, it was a better offense, wasn't it? As far as uh, patience. So oh, there's your man for the three point line. I told you, Abdul Hamid, four for five. Oh, if, if crowd need to get excited again. Need a play to get them up. They're, they're, they're almost just expecting this game to run out now. McVan kicks. Sobis has got to shoot that. Does shoot that. Makes one. The first Hema Farm player who's not called uh, Abdul. Getting up before anybody else. Well, the early three by Bozovic is no good, but he gets it out and somehow comes <laughs> down with it. Pekovic for three. Just having made one. Makes another. 84-87. Only a three-point game and never making a three for most of the game. I well, think they're like three from three, the last yeah, three three-pointers. Well, they can shoot. We said at the timeout that you don't discount them. Chapman gets it to Ogilvy. Iverson doesn't think himself. Oh, answers no with way. three and no one. No way. Is that a foul? Iverson milked that one. See the action replay. Hamid gets so close to him, Mark, but there's no foul there. The legs kick out. But Let's have won. a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. He's up. Well, nothing but string there. We didn't see the contact after. Yeah. Let's have a look at this one. Wow, well, that's... Uh, he milked it. He may have been fouled. He definitely milked it. And that effect is this could be a four-point and huge play. That is. And Kovic now. Got to answer again. They're now down seven. There's still time here for Hema Farm. They need a quick one. Kovic comes off the screen. 
Asolvich for three is good, and they just will not go away. 91-87. Borisov there just li lined it up. It was just a, a line drive of three. Well, they're eight from 24, and they were awful. And turnover. Oh, no. oh, yep, absolutely right. The official right on it. Iverson turns it over. Well, I thought Abdul point. Hadi just touched that at the end, but the referee was there. He saw it better than I. Well, this possession here is absolutely key. Both teams, if Becky oh, right, yeah. could just get a stop, they give themselves some breathing space. Hema Farm score. This is game on. Pevkovic, high post screens, McVan. What's the belly, McVan? McVan takes the three. Oh. It's good for McVan. One point game, 109 to go. Big time shot. From a big time player. Here's my Chapman. Wow. 17 points, Milan Mashvan leading the uh, scores for Hema Farm. Chapman. It's a bit of shake. Oh, no, he wants to shoot it. Oh, way off. And Iverson did not touch the ball. That's, that cannot be smart. You know, Ogilvy had a good shot, passed it up. Pakovic fancies himself oh. the three-point line and way outside. Oh. Ema Farm lead it by two, 93-91. Outstanding. It's oh. like seven for seven the last four minutes. 93-91, Chapman. And look at that, sums it up. These guys were having a party and now they're down two. 16 down they were. 30 seconds on the clock. Down. Iverson finds Chapman, pulls it for three. Is way off, doesn't hit anything. And Hema Farm had the two-point lead and under 30 seconds to go. They got a foul. Got to foul him. Oh, they get it. McVan dribbles out. They've got a foul. Oh, they do, and it takes a long, long time to foul. Oh, you cannot just come down the floor and try and kill a game. You've still, even though you're taking time off the clock, you've got to be aggressive. 18 seconds. They've been horrible from the line all night. And well, do you believe it? Pavkovic makes the first. Yeah, they were 16 down, and the timeout was just under five minutes to go. So. Now, this is such a big shot. This will put them four up from absolutely nowhere. Oh, they miss another free throw. We get the rebound. And it's stolen. Oh, How did they get that? Three to tie. Oh, is this Iverson time? He gives it up. Ogilvy's not going to shoot the three. Iverson. Foul him. Foul the him, yeah. Ike shoots the three. Oh, it's short. That should die. It's coming out. For three, for Chatton is off. And Hema Farm, from absolutely nowhere, have spoiled Alan Iverson's party, have spoiled Basikas's night. And Hema Farm, with the 94-91 win, from absolutely nowhere. <laughs> they can't believe themselves, Mark. Look at it, the, 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 the looks of delight. They, that is an incredible victory. What a comeback. I don't think I've seen a comeback 16 down at this level in five minutes. Unbelievable. Wow.